I gotta put this up to see what you guys are talking about. Boy, Bianca TV is loud. I can hear it from here. Okay, Netflix didn't want to sign me in. All right. Ooh. I don't know. Let me let me know when you guys can see me. I don't know if you can see me. Hello, how are you? Oh, it went from six people to two people. Fancy. Right. <laughs> what would Bianca call it? That's pog. All right. Well, all two people. We could be friends. I don't know. It's saying two people. Yeah, it went from three, now it's back to six. Don't worry about the number. Just but anyways, I have a Goodwill haul. I actually have a, hello mommy. I have a haul that um, I didn't expect to find. Oh, mom says buffering. We're not buffering. I'm, I'm not buffering either. Um, but anyways, I have a haul that I didn't really expect to find. We, where were we on our way to? Oh, we were coming back. We were checking this antique store that was supposed to be opening or reopening, like a grand reopening. And we drove there. It was about half an hour away. We drove over there and it turns out that they did have some antiques that they were mainly using for display. And if you wanted to buy them, you could buy them. Um, hi, Danny. Um, who else is in here? Sorry, I'm like looking here. I gotta look here. I can't see everybody. My mom's here, Peterson. Moon Goddess Treasures, hello. Um, Annette, hi Annette. Casey ATX, hey girl. Um, okay, that's who I see. But hello to everyone watching that hasn't commented. Um, okay, so we, we drove over there. Hi Nettie. We drove over there. And so we go in and they're using the, the like display pieces, you know, um, and it's for sale, blah, blah, blah. But so it turns out that they're mostly like, like, um, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, babe? What? They're like a gift store, but it's mainly like, my gosh, I can't even think of it. It's like home decor. <laughs> Um, but it's like country rustic style home decor. So we were like, okay. So we left there and on the way back, you can almost, it'll almost take you by our old, um, the place where our old booth was, uh, the Florida native, that antique store. So we were like, Hey, let's go see like the owner. And we went over there and we haven't been there since we left. And, uh, they had some new stuff. So we found some stuff in there and then a couple of the ladies that have booths in there actually opened a thrift store that was like three doors down. So we went into their thrift store and we found some stuff there and then I went down the street to this little, it's like a smaller little thrift store, one of the two that's in this town and I happened to be there like 20 minutes before they were closing. I thought I had like an hour and 20 minutes but I only had 20 minutes. And I was like finding some stuff and my hands were full. And then my stepdad calls. So I'm like this and I'm trying to like find stuff. And the lady's like, yeah, we close in 20 minutes. You want to cash out? And I'm like, darn it. So I found some stuff there and I never do. So I was like really surprised that a lot of the stuff that I have on the table to share with you, um, I found locally. Um, but I also, uh, we found some really great stuff at Goodwill. So if I stop chatting, because I know there's a lot of upcoming things this evening, I can show you guys everything. <laughs> um, who do we have in the room? Diana, Brenda, Pamela 13, Kiwi's Collectibles, Newton's Cupboard, CJ, Fish Chick Thrift. Hello. Um, where? Pamela Blanchard? Pam, is Pamela Blanchard here? Hi, Miss Pamela. Hi, Lori. 
I'm just in the beginnings of a, oh hi Kevin, in the beginnings of a haul video. So hi Diana, yeah I see you. I'm gonna get 8 million questions later. Is this live, are we live? <laughs> I always get those comments. Yes, I see you Diana. Um, okay, so few things I found. Oh first, let me tell you, we listed a bunch of stuff over on eBay. So if you guys are curious, I think some of the things here are listed um, I didn't get to everything, but some of the things here are listed. Hi, Charlotte. Um, but make sure you guys go check that out. There's a link in the description. Um, I was going to post some pictures on Instagram, but my brain is busy. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't have a second. So anyways, let me start with this. I normally don't pick up like any depression gl glass really anymore unless it's something interesting shaped. Uh, if it's uranium glass, if it's within my budget, you know, I tell you guys that all the time, stay within your budget. Um, but I thought this was a beautiful bowl. I've not seen this one. I don't know this pattern. Um, and I did not have a minute to look it up before I came on here live. So <laughs> you guys will have to either tell me or we'll just play the guessing game and I'll figure it out later but I thought this dish was beautiful. It was in the little thrift store that was down the road. Um, it does have a couple of little chips, but it was so inexpensive. Um, so I just had to get that. So we picked this bowl up. Um, am I talking about Webster? The flea market? No, but in the, the city, yes, it's in the city. I'm not talking about Webster flea market. Um, is it the haul from today's video? I don't have a haul or a video today. This is today's video, but from yesterday, I do have some stuff. Um, yeah, babe, you might want to sit out here. Um, yeah, because this is big and I don't have nowhere to put it. I know you want to watch me on the TV because I'm famous, but, <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. The next thing we picked up from, oh, look at me. I'm like looking at this, looking for a number. Like I'm like, I'm going to sell it. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Yes. I saw you earlier. Did you get your booth all straightened out? It was looking gorgeous. Um, okay. So this was the next thing that we picked up. One of these, this just looks like, like a root beer float or something to me. The colors, um, the color that's in here, like when you see the light at it, it looks a little different from that side, but um, it just looks like root beer. Oh my gosh. I love this. So we picked this up at the little thrift store. Um, we were excited about that. We told the lady, we love glass. So if you want to bring glass in. <laughs> so we got that. And then look at this. Charlotte, don't fall out of your chair. Look, it's like a, it's like a cornucopia jack in the pulpit something something, but it's very cool. It doesn't glow. I don't think. I don't know if we tested any of this, did we? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't glow. The light's right next to it. But oh, is it cool? He's so good. You guys, oh, it does glow. The Ooh. tips of it glow. You guys think that I'm the master behind all this stuff? <laughs> it's all him. It does glow. See the tips of it? I think I need um, to buy batteries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you see that? Very cool. At first I didn't. I'm like, oh, I tested. No, apparently I did not. But it does glow. Very neat. Um, okay. So we found that. And then look at this. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Look at this. Isn't this so like Batosi-esque? It's not. It is dated 1969 by the artist a little. Um, I can't even read it. It almost looks like it says, it looks like it says J E A N N E E N E. I don't know. But isn't that fantastic? Oh my gosh, 1969. 
so mid-century modern and that color is fantastic so we picked that up very exciting um hi miss pamela i'm okay today was a day girl today was a day but i'm good because i'm here with you guys and we're talking about fun stuff now <laughs> and then we found this little purple bunny made in japan look how cute she is i don't remember where i picked her up at but i got her i think at our old booth oh the place where our booth was she's done a good job with that place she has she has I'm, i was looking thinking i didn't bring anything from um our booth now like box of delights i think that stuff is still out there Thanks. then we picked this up um so we stopped grabbing crackle glass because it kind of i feel like it fizzled away and people stopped really like buying it but now i have people asking for it again so when i see it for a decent price we pick it up. So we got this and the tips like around the top. You don't have to go through all that again, babe. The tips around the top glow. So these look so cute with little, I got my mom. Um, I think their name is Tinker Creek designs or something like that on Etsy. I follow them on Instagram, but I got my mom these little flowers made from um like depression glass fenton like all kinds she made a little bouquet of flowers for mother's day and they use these little type things to stick the bouquets out of and it's so pretty so anyways got that one here i go and i said if i don't ramble <laughs> um you made a mess of your booth i look good <laughs> Oh, Newton, that's because I have the monetization on. That's because I turned that on. I always do because usually people, they don't go back and watch live things. So I figure if it you watch it like 30 seconds of it while I'm live, then maybe it'll count for something. <laughs> All right, so this I picked up. Oh gosh, I don't remember. I think it's like Indie, no, the Wexford pattern. But in like this like teal bluish color now this isn't like a giant money maker you're not going to make like 20 25 dollars but it was cheap enough that i can still make like 10 12 dollars on it so that's cool with me 75 bucks would be yours 75 dollars it's yours but wait <laughs> so okay so we got that what's going on here I swear YouTube is letting things slide. Mess up for more. Pay the monthly fee. Um. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. It's not working. <sighs> um. Okay. So the next thing we got was this little dog. This little very mid-century dog. Uh, it's made in Japan. I'm putting together a figurine lot. We've been getting our hands on like grab bags. We don't find them a ton. Um, but usually there's like one or two things that are worth reselling on their own from the grab bags. And then the other things, I usually lock them up and like sell them as a lot. So this is one of the guys that I'd probably sell on its own because he's really cool. And um, the other guys are going to go in a lot. All right, this is the next thing we picked up. These are really neat. A lot of these, you research them online, and there are some like um, more modern ones, but there's a lot of this glass that is mid-century. Um, I mean, I wish I was like better like able to identify it, <laughs> but it's just one of those things where um, you let the buyer decide um, what what it's worth to them um, because this looks very similar to some pieces that you can go into TJ Maxx and find because you can find art glass there. So, but um, yeah, I'm rambling again. Um, okay, 
The next thing we picked up this. Oh my gosh, this is great. Look at this perfume bottle. I paid up a little bit for this, but look at the stopper. Look at that. Isn't that, that's just a whole mood. That's everything right there. Love that one. Now this, oh my gosh, I cannot think of it to save my life. And I have a piece of it sitting right there. And I can't think of the name of the glass that I think it is. You can look and see. But we found this, it's hand painted. I gotta kind of wipe it up a little bit. But you see the glass? It's like a clam broth. God, what is the name? Bristol, woohoo! Yeah. Yes, don't forget it. It's your race car stuff. Bristol glass. <laughs> um, that's what I'm thinking this is. I mean, does that look like it to you guys? You know, that's what it reminds me of, the clam broth stuff. Um, I, but I don't know. Um, I was trying to stay on a budget. You were tempting me. Listen, I don't need any of you to be on a budget. You all need to have an open, free checking account. Just, just open and no budgets, okay? <laughs> no budgets here. Um, okay, this is another mug by that company called Spectrum. Not our cable company, but just the company called Spectrum. And they make... Um, really cool mugs actually. And if you can get like certain Halloween ones, they sell really well, but we found the one with the bat and I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's so cute. There's one that's like a jack-o'-lantern with its mouth like open, like it's eating something really cool. And it goes for like $40. If I remember, I might be mixing them up, but we got that Halloween mug. And then this just looked like nice glass, even though it's clear, it just looked like nice glass. It's a fish. It just looks so well made and I couldn't find a mark on it anywhere. And I did absolutely no research before talking to you guys. <laughs> so, but isn't it cool? This little, that's not a shell, that's a fish. Mmm. <laughs> Kevin. Mmm. <laughs> All right. The next thing I found was this little purple dish with the, the little uh, spots for your cigarette. Here's the bottom. It glows, oh. yep. It glows a green. Yeah, it glows. See if, hold on. Can you see that? Maybe if I move it farther away. It glows a green color. Oh, that's nice. Very cool. So this was at the little, like this one, and this one was at the little thrift store that's around the corner for me. So I was really surprised by that. I'm trying to think. Oh, the Ram was there. I don't think you um, the Cheryl, I did. Um, we had. Um, you should have gotten yours. I sent it earlier, like a few hours ago. Uh, we had, our Walmart is literally closed for like two or three days. So we were trying to find a box to accommodate that real um, big piece of glass that you got. And we have, okay, let me paint a picture. We have absolutely no other store to shop at. No other options. No other option than Walmart. There's no Office Depot. There's no Target. There's no Lowe's, there's no Home Depot to like get a box. So um, we had to actually drive about 40 minutes to get some more boxes. Um, so yours is, your your invoice should be there now, but we did it today. Bree. Hi, Brianna. Yeah, literally. The Hi, Walmart Tammy. Who would have ever. Well, thank you for before. loving us. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hi, Pamela. Do I want to say hi, Miss Pamela13? Hello. I think you did, but you can do it again. Um, okay. This one, this is cool too. This, again, we got it locally at a little thrift store. Couldn't believe it. This one glows too. This one glows mighty. And the top's mm -hmm. blue. Yes, and the top of it is blue. I got to clean it out a bit, but 
very cool. And again, at a local thrift store, can you believe this? This is really dirty. Um, it's amethyst, it's bohemian glass, you know, like the hand painted stuff. If this was red, it would glow for sure, but it's purple. It doesn't do anything, but it's stunning, especially when it's all cleaned up, it'll be. And don't you have the matching things on eBay or something? Yeah, we have the little goblets to them, a set of three listed right now on eBay. And there is a red one in the group and it does glow. And I think I have a picture of it glowing. It glows like an orange color, very cool. This is lovely. This is very cool. Aaron's like, oh my gosh, it will be so great for Halloween. If you shine light through it though, it's amethyst glass. So it's like black amethyst glass on the inside and you got all the white on the outside of this vase. Oh, thanks, Diane. Um, okay, sorry, I was just like reading. I have to read here, because I missed them there. Um, oh, and then there's this. This is also amethyst glass. And there's something written on the bottom on a sticker so I don't know if that has to do with like the person's booth it was put in or something at one point um because you know how you'll find donated stuff with the people's antique booth information still on it or if it has to do with the maker but it says like evart e-v-a-r-t but this is amethyst glass and it has the applied handles let me see if I can make oh, it you can see it glow for you Oh, that's nice. The purple, um, the handles don't glow or anything. Unless says you've been hiding all these things. No, we just haven't. No, I ideas. just, <laughs> yeah, we just happened to find them. Um, we got lucky this week. Um, finally. We I'm thinking of the day. I think it was, was it Monday after, or Tuesday? Oh, no, yeah, no, it was Monday. I think. Remember Jenna stayed here? She wanted to yeah, be. It was and then we, we went to go check this new antique store and it wasn't anything. So we went to um, the place where our booth used to be and we found some stuff. And then, like I said, one of the ladies there, um, she actually opened a thrift store that's like two doors down and then she had some stuff. She still has all kinds of stuff, but that's how we were able to find it. I couldn't believe it. Yes. All right, Miss Cheryl, I got your notification there. Um, okay. That's guy's cool. Aaron loves this. Where did you not we love that thing? find this guy? Ooh. I forget where we found this. Wait, wait, I'm thinking. Oh, it was at the, um, I'm, I'm thinking the Box of the Likes. The, it was Natalie's store. The store native? Yeah, that back booth that has like Christmas stuff. So this was actually where our booth used to be. Aaron really likes this guy. Um, and so does Bianca. <laughs> but a little Halloween. We did list some Halloween stuff too um, on eBay. I listed a couple of Christmas things. I was trying really hard. I'm like, I really wanna make it like a, like a launch, like um, have all of this stuff available at one time for you guys and be like, bam, okay, go get it. Uh, but Aaron's like, yeah, but what if when you do, you don't have the people there to go get it? <laughs> and I'm just like, kind of burst my bubble. <laughs> so I just said, whatever, just list it, I don't care. So we've been listing things and then some will be available in live sales. Now these are, um, these are Bermilio Rocco Bahia glasses. Whoa. And we found, I know it's a mouthful. I had to like think about it for a second. Um, I found six of these, but these are, they're so stunning. They don't glow, but the, it's like, I need like a wipe to wipe this off. But um, it's like a blue and a green. They're Italian made. They're contemporary, but they're so, no, they don't glow. It looks like it. It looks like it. They don't even need a light. And it's, I, gosh, I wish you can, can you see that like blue purpley hue there? It's so cool. So I listed these, these sell really well on eBay. So I listed them in sets of three. I was going to list all six, 
but the shipping would have been stupid for people because of the size of the box that it would have to go in. And it was like, like six pounds without the packing supplies. I mean, it was dumb. So I did them in sets of three. And then I haven't found, I was trying to find who made this. We picked this up at our, the place where our booth was. Um, yeah, I, I was trying to research right before and Aaron's like, oh, it's seven o'clock, you gotta go. So I don't know, if you guys know who does this one with this like fern pattern. Danny says center of fix, you can probably help you. Okay. But that's so pretty, isn't it? And it's a nice like weight. So you can definitely, you know, get a burglar with this one. So. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of opalescent glasses like that with that rim, but finding that like leaf pattern, that's the ting. Um, okay, I was just seeing if I missed anybody. Okay. Then I'm, I'm still on that place where we found everything. <laughs> um, what happened? Aaron, she said, Aaron, did you hide me? No, we see you. No, I said Gump was looking for her. Oh, she was saying Gump, he was saying Gump was looking for you. Curious to know what, what you find out about that. Okay. Then we picked this one up. So this is, this is flashed glass, but I'm, I'm pretty certain it's flashed glass. Just the, one of the edges led me to believe it was, but at the same time, I'm like, or it's painted. Yeah, it looks painted. Like if you look here, oh gosh, it kind of looks painted on. Um, but anyways, this is Westmoreland glass. It's beautiful. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Katie. <laughs> so, oh, is this what you want me to show? Yeah. What are you What are you gonna say about it? You can say. Oh, this is our, our cat's toy named Peterson. So this is what he was saying, that he hid mm -hmm. Peterson from our cats. <laughs> our Gump loves this thing. He sleeps with it. He moves too. Yeah, he does. He wiggles. Have you guys seen this one? Get it, Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Okay. And like it'll stop on its own and if the cats go after it, it'll like flop some more. So it's it's a cool little toy. Okay. Next thing. Peterson twerking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you, Danny? Yeah, we were seeing them, I think, on like Instagram reels. And then we were at Walmart and Gabriel and I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the fish that bounces. And then they had like cat toys that were in like a sushi container that had little toys in them. So me and Gabriel got those for the and cats. And we've always called Peterson. But... Yeah, and we always say Peterson shark. Do, 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 do. All right, the next thing is, this is actually, um, I would say like a bolo for you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, this pattern. But this is actually Wedgwood, and it's Wedgwood with Ralph Lauren, and the pattern's called Sampler. See how it looks like a sampler? Now, Wedgwood and Ralph Lauren did other ones, but this one in particular sells really well. So this is just, I don't know, like a, a bread plate maybe, because it doesn't have the thing for the teacup. But um, I'm thinking, because I didn't see this exact one, but I saw other people set pieces sell. I can get, I think on the low end, like $40 for this. So I like was on a whim and I couldn't look it up because like I said, I had 20 minutes and my stepdad called me. So I was on the phone. So I was just like grabbing stuff that I saw. So couldn't look that up. <laughs> um, okay, this, I have no idea who makes it. I'm horrible with um 
like Asian decor. A couple of times, I will say, I have picked up legit antique vases and have sold them for quite a bit of money on eBay. But usually with like Asian stuff, people want true antiques. It's almost like they did with um, like Coca-Cola and things like that. There was just so much of it that it's really not collectible unless it's, I mean, it is collectible. People collect it. I mean like monetarily collectible uh, unless it's like actual antique stuff, you know? But I really did like this piece. I liked the shape of it. I know nothing about it. I don't know who makes it, but I loved that it had paper cranes on it. So I was like, oh my gosh. And it was like cheap enough to try to see if I can figure out who makes it, who it's by. With my luck, it's probably worth $5. Um, <laughs> but I just really loved the paper cranes on there. So I thought that was really neat. And the, sh <clears throat> the shape is interesting. All right, then again at the little tiny little antique store, or not antique store, thrift store, I found this mid-century um, just bowl dish thing. It's by Hull, H-U-L-L. -L. So we got this. Nice, no chips or anything. And then, tell me this isn't, is, I didn't research if Blue Mountain Pottery has different, um, like, logos. So, it looked like Blue Mountain Pottery-esque to me. And then we flipped it over and it says Canada and it has three trees. So, do you guys know? Because I didn't look it up. I mean, that's the name of this game. That's like the theme. I didn't look it up. I didn't do my research. <laughs> so, if you guys know, let me know. It's probably a simple Google, but I just didn't have time. I did not have any time. Okay. Then we picked up these. This bag of little vintage Christmas coasters people like to craft there's santa and then it's like a lantern and a church so i picked up a bag of those where is my good looking husband he is in the garage <laughs> he's gonna be in my bed later okay next things i found I think Aaron spotted these guys and this one this no this one I found on my own this one just says USA pottery it's a really cool looking shape but it says 406 USA <laughs> you guys are funny I'm glad you like get my jokes <laughs> all right so Aaron spotted this at a, it was in a back booth where our booth used to be. And they had some like a little bit more modern decor, but they're just so cute. And we're like suckers for Halloween stuff. <laughs> so we, we got this one. Isn't she cute? She's actually from, you guys remember Old Time Pottery, that store? That's where she was from at one point or another doesn't name her collection. But remember, just because it is like modern, like at the store right now or whatever, doesn't mean there isn't a market for it. So look it up. It's just like I told you guys with the Bath and Body Works stuff, with the home decor pieces, like look it up. That's all I can say to you. Um, and oh, here's the other one. This one didn't have a name either. It just says Happy Halloween, boo. Doesn't have any information, but it's so sparkly and it's a witch, so we got it. Hi, Kathleen. Okay, so, oh. Did you do the lamps yet? No, those are from Goodwill. Okay. So I was trying to get to the Goodwill stuff. Gosh, we did so, I think we did good this week at the local thrift stores that never seem to have anything. 
Okay, then we picked these very, oh, these had salt in them, mid-century style. Yes, mom, that's my favorite color. Uh, salt and pepper shakers. They, hold on, say, I don't know what they say on the bottom. USA, I think, but they still have salt and pepper. I gotta clean out. But they're they're made to look like that, I guess like teak wood, you know? I couldn't find this. This is probably worth nothing, but I know Aaron likes NASCAR and vintage NASCAR is super popular. I don't think maybe in the way of mugs, but in the way of clothing, it's really popular. But for the price, I just had to grab this. It's a vintage Darlington uh, coffee mug. And it was so nice. It's like the three dimensional ones. The graphics were really nice. And I'm a sucker for black. I can't help it. Okay, got this for Bianca. She likes to collect like Freddy's, Jason's, Michael Myers, you know, stuff like that. Got that for her. Then we spotted this. I don't know if this is, um, it doesn't have a pottery house. Um, it just, it looks like it says Davis on the back. So I don't know if there is a, um, a pottery company, a pottery house or a person in particular, an artist that's popular, but look how great this, this is. It almost reminds me of like a salt glazed pottery. Um, but it's a pig. How cool is that? And like I said, it says Davis on the back. But I love that. I had to grab that guy. And I was trying to figure out, who did it say this was by? Oh gosh, I looked these up and I don't remember. I think I found the pattern name, but I was like, no, that's not their marking. So I, I could be wrong, but I found these gorgeous glasses as well. Now, some people had, whatever the pattern is, had them listed um, that they were from the 1980s, like a reproduction of an uh, antique glass. And then some people actually had them as, I mean, 80s is technically vintage, but some people had them listed as like 1930s. Uh, it has an H inside of a circle on the bottom. And I, good, you know, <sighs> I hate when I come on here and say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, you guys are talking to each other. So I think, nope, that doesn't conclude what we found or what I found there. I have a couple more little things here. I know, Virginia, that's just me. And then afterwards, I'll be like, oh, that's what it was. I do that every time. All right, then for my crafters out there, this is at the same little thrift store. I found a bag of the Tattered Angels Glitter Spray for $2. I'm telling you, Diane. And then we found some Perfect Pearls, the Mica Powder for $2. And these are expensive, you guys. One of these, if you went to like a scrapbook store, is like $12 a bottle, so. And then we found the Perfect Pearls little dimensional um, bottles things by Ranger. You can make little pearl looking things. And then here is some glitter embossing powder in this bag. Um, so there's that. And then the last thing from the little thrift store was this guy. How Peterson Retro Vintage is this? It's very cool. Very cool. I found these frogs on their own before. I guess maybe someone made this or maybe is that how it came maybe and someone just removed the frogs at one point, but it's very, it's very um, mod. <laughs> All right. So that concludes our little baby thrift stores that are around the corner. Now the Goodwill stuff on the other hand, is, is Aaron is helping me put it on the table. So we're gonna hang this up here, but Aaron found a Viking ship plate. Hello from New Zealand, what does your name say? Rosina? 
Hi, Rosina from New Zealand. Hello. Okay, so this says 100% handmade in Greece by, oh, ooh, I don't know. It looks like it almost looks like it says Boney Pottery, B-O-N, and then the last letter is, or Bonu maybe, because it looks like the last letter is kind of messed up. And then it says original, but this is so cool. Yes, ma'am. Another fan page for my art. Wow. I don't know this person at all. I don't know if they're like a friend's friend's friend, but they've been, just been saving my art all day, and they so they just made a board for it. Sweet. And their board, their board is called Jack My Beloved. Well, you'll get. Well, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's a joke, like Bingus My Beloved. Oh, okay. Well, you'll get more since you put your Pinterest on your YouTube. You'll get more traffic because mm -hmm. you have it linked through YouTube. Oh my gosh. Got a fan page for my art. Oh, Someone nice. created a fan page. Um, okay, so hello from Maine. Will you be listing your horse bowl from yesterday? Um, Joanne, yes, I will. So um I was listing the I well I was trying to list the things that I already had out on my table. That stuff Aaron is actually taking out of bags right now. We hadn't taken it out yet. We have like a process we kind of go through. Um, the best chaotic process we can do, <laughs> but yes, that will go up. All right. So then we found the strawberry glasses. Did you guys ever figure out who made these strawberry glasses? Cause guess what? I didn't look them up yet. <laughs> Let's see if I can get you a better look at one. What if I just wrapped all this, our glass in saran wrap and like sent it, like, like mailed it like this. All right, Ooh, here we go. Better look and maybe, oh, it is. That's what I was hoping for, it is signed. It looks like it's T-R-I-G-U-B-A. So that definitely doesn't spell Libby but they're very pretty strawberry glasses. So we got a set of four of those. Um, <laughs> your eyebrows and I, oh, thank you, Rosina. Thank you, you're so nice. Um, okay. They do look 70s. They sure do. They can go right on with that frog, right? <laughs> All right, so when I spotted this on the shelf, just like touching it and looking at how it's made, it looked like a better quality um, mug, right? So I was intrigued by it. And I said, it has a cat. So if it's not worth much, we'll just add to our ever-growing collection of coffee mugs because we have that here. But it's anthropology. And the last one just sold. I can't remember if it was 30 or 35. I need some of that ginkgo stuff, but it was around there. What is that on the third shelf down on the right with the pink hat on? Which right? Oh, that's my salt shaker guy. That's some of my redware that I collect. He's a salt shaker. I never found his mate. I have the donkey that D got me back there. I have my horse. I had some birds, but my cats broke them. Um, so yeah, not all anthropology mugs are worth something, but this one in particular was, so score for that one. But you know what? I would have kept it anyway. Okay, then we spotted this rooster. Now pulling it off the shelf, I told Aaron, Oh, it's Italian, but I didn't, I failed to mention that I've seen them made in Portugal. I've seen these from Brazil. I've, and I didn't take this off yet to see if it says anything at all. I mean, it could be a complete imposter. It doesn't say anything yet. And I didn't think it was marked here. Nope, but it's a very cool, I'm getting text messages from the kids school. <laughs> um, <laughs> Run, kitty. She thinks you did it. They did. 
but we got this um, ceramic pitcher. So I don't want to give you like false information. <laughs> I mean, if I really don't know, honest to God, truth, if I don't know, then that's like the extent of my knowledge type of thing. Um, but that you can find them from other countries. All right, so then when we were at the red, white, and blue with Danny, there was like a bunch of these uh, bottles on a shelf. And we were, we got one. There was another lady that had a bunch of them um, in her cart, but we got one. And we took it to the booth because our decanters have been doing well over there. Well, I don't think we had it a day and it sold. Um, I want to say we paid like $5 for it and I believe it sold for 40 in the booth. So these are collectible. This is Don Quixote and we paid up for this $12.99. But it resells well on eBay. Um, genuine leather made in Spain. And everything is still there. So very cool. Um, okay. Then, oh my gosh, this ended up being Roseville. This ended up being Roseville. I think it was like Medina pumpkin patch, something, something. <gasps> but look, look at that. It is unmarked Roseville. So excited. Um, I don't ever find it. I was like, you guys, so we were in the store and we were doing so good. It was like really fun. Like, wow, I can actually show these people stuff. We're actually finding stuff. And then we had to leave because this, the school had called. So we had to go, but we were finding such cool things. So we were really happy. Like a lot of people noticed like, hey, you guys were pretty upbeat in that video. And it's like, yeah, because we actually found something to show you. It was more fun, you know? But this ended up being the pumpkin patch or, right, pumpkin patch, something like that, Roseville, very cool. Um, this one, the different uh, shapes, it depends on the shape, on the price. So there's like this guy, but like a lot taller, that sells for like $700. So <laughs> it depends on the price. So I feel like I have a hair stuck to my eyelash, probably do. And then we spotted the Fostoria glass that was up on the top shelf. Needs a little bit of a cleaning. This goes for about 15 or so dollars when I looked it up. So, woohoo. And then this looks like a bit of Empoli glass. And you'll see glass out there that kind of looks like this. Some of it you lift it up and it feels like you can snap it like a cracker. This feels nice. So I really do think that it is a piece, even though, you know, there's no stickers or anything on it and it's pretty gross. So I got to wash it, but I'd put it in the booth for 25. Which thing, Danny? Probably the Fostoria thing. Oh, the Fostoria piece? Um, yeah, online, that's what it sells for. Okay. They never reproduce the amber or olive of the coin. coin glass okay oh my gosh I just stuck the label to my table what was I thinking then we found all of these cute little kitties look at all these cute kitties so for a while we stopped we really stopped getting figurines like Aaron's like you know I remember when I first started with you um like figurines and planters that was like the thing and it kind of faded away, but I think it's making its rounds again. So we got all those kitties. I love the Fostoria piece. I need to go shopping. Yes, girl, go shopping. Especially when you're at the thrift store. I see those reels where, um, like the Instagram, you know, reels where it's like, um, like I love when I can walk into a store and I don't have to look at the price tag and they're at like Dollar Tree. I think that's hilarious because in a way, you kind of feel like that at the thrift store, you know? All right, here's like the find of the day. This was such a cool piece. You know those horses on there? Yes. That's pretty. Um, 
So when I picked this up, I kept, and I'm still, I still never went back because when I looked at a listing, one of them said that it had a mark, but I'm like, I do not see where this glass would be marked. And here I go, still trying to figure it out. Um, but this has such nice waist, weight to it. And when I first saw it, I was like, $15? Why do you guys want... I mean, it's really cool. It's nice. That's why I picked it up, you know? Um, but I'm like, okay, I understand now. And I, I don't know where that mark is that they say is there. I don't know. But this was stunning. And it was called... Um, and I just told you guys this information, galloping something, something. Don't laugh at me, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Okay. So there's your information. A bunch of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember, and I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So then we grabbed the mirror tray that you can, um, you know, stand up like a mirror. You can put it on your vanity or whatever. And it also, they put a little thing so you can hang it here. And you can use it as a tray. So you can use it in three different ways, which is very neat. Then we got these owl shakers. Oh, what? Peterson, you don't see it one time and just remember it just like that? I don't, <laughs> my brain doesn't work that way. Um... I know, Diane, but you know, some, some people, like, because I'm on here, and I never considered myself, like, um, um, like a professor of sorts. Like, I don't, like, I'm learning with you guys. The, some stuff I do know, and some stuff is, like, the first time I'm learning it. But I think people think because I'm on here that I should know everything about everything, and I don't. So, that's the kind, that's the gist I get from quite a bit of people. But we got these very pretty owl. They have like a Yadro-esque paint job to them. They are Mark Japan. Very cool. Very cool. And salt and pepper shakers do okay. Especially like um, vintage Christmas ones. Easter, Valentine's Day does really well. Um, but in general, mm, 10 to $15 I'd say you can get for them. Then we spotted these. We didn't find any more. Um, so I don't know. Hold on. Are you selling the Fostoria piece soon? Um, yes. At least I will be. If you guys are interested in anything, you guys can, like, you can send me an email. Like, even if you see a haul video and be like, hey, I'm interested. I'm trying to see if there's a signature on these. I don't see one. They're like a purpley lavender color. And they're all hand painted with like different flowers. Mm, but I don't see a signature. And the paint, I'm glad because sometimes this saran wrap, the layers hide the... Um, the paint and sometimes the paint's chipping off, but I just think they're really pretty. To me, they're they're like a uh, Fenton esque. That's what they kind of remind me of. So we got those. All right, then picked up these pepper shakers. These just scream the '90s to me. I don't know about you guys, but I had a friend when I was growing up, when I was about nine, 10 years old, her mom was really into Southwestern themes. So even their Christmas tree had decorations like of chili peppers and cowboys and Native Americans and like everything. So that's what this takes me back to is um, like my childhood. Her mom had like everything, like the kids' bedrooms, everyone was so... It was very Southwestern, very cool. I mean, she had like like um, cow skulls on the wall and really, okay, these are pretty heavy. These say Japan, they're metal and they're owls. They say Japan. 
Come on, you're not giving up the Roseville. You had a very tight grip on that one. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Those are cool. These? Yeah. Oh, Aaron found the cat shakers. So the dish on the bottom says cats by Nina. I didn't see if the top ones are marked because there is another artist that does um, like girls. Um, looks very similar to Cats by Nina, the artistry anyway, like how they paint. So <laughs> mom says it's going to mom, <laughs> the Roseville. I already figured that. Um, okay, so the shakers don't say it. So I don't know for certain if they are, but definitely the the dish on the bottom is Cats by Nina. Oh, here I can't. Oh no, look babe, it's got a broken ear. Of course it does. Of course it's broken when they're saran wrapped together. But here's the shakers. He likes these. I have a feeling these are gonna be in our kitchen <laughs> as our new shakers. Very cool. That guy was cool. And then he's got a chip on his ear. I wonder if we did it. I it was like that. So this ended up being, I'm glad I got this. It's an ashtray. I said in my, in the video, I'm like, I don't know what it is. It's an ashtray, but I didn't know about really about the company, but it's actually a company from way back in the day. It goes back pretty far um, called McGinty and they would make fishing lures. So this is a little ashtray, like sort of a advertisement piece that they sold and it has a fishing lure painted on it. So, um, yeah, that's who I was talking about, Elise. Like that, I think that's the lady. She does like women and you see a lot of like vases and things. Her art style is very cats by Nina to me. But anyways, I didn't really find much other than the company information. I did see it listed on Etsy for like $20, but it's very cool. Especially like my stepdad loves um, old fishing stuff. We've given him quite a few old things that we found. He decorates his garage. So like for Christmas, if you got someone that likes stuff like that, um, that's a good gift. All right, then I spotted this. So I, I thought for a couple dollars, I would try it. I never find those like ones they use as like a casserole dish holder in like really good shape, but I just loved all this, this I was gonna say she shells, <laughs> the seashells on this one. I think someone put uh, the felt in here. It doesn't look like natural. They probably did it so it would be sturdy and stuff would stand up, but very cool. All right, and then I think, is this it, babe? Other than this, the boom box? Yep, yeah. the boom box. These are the last two things I found. These are so neat. These are candle lamps, so fairy lamps, if you will. I think, how on earth? I can't find the end to it. I can't find the end to this one. Darn it, and I'm taking up too much. Oh, here we go. Here's one at the top. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looked like without all the wrapping. All right. So this one's beads are a little loose. Is that tea in there? Yeah. Huh. Pretty cool. So here they are. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Whitney Houston wearing that beaded head thing, the little um, I don't know what you would call that. But that's what this reminds me of, and it's so awesome. But it takes a tea light right in there, so you can light it up and they'll look fantastic. And there's two of them. Very neat, so you can have them in your living room, put them out for fall, you can put them up on your mantle. Very cool looking. So I got those two. 
Yes, and the bodyguard. Doesn't that though? That's what they remind you of. I love it. And the last thing that we got, we actually now if this would have been worth like you know six, seven, eight hundred dollars, then it would have gone up on eBay. But I, we really did get this thinking about Bianca because she wants so badly like a '90s style room, and um, we we went to the thrift store, but we couldn't find a cassette tape <laughs> to test it and see if it worked. The radio does work, but um, we couldn't find cassettes. She has one coming in the mail. She ordered it from the 21 Pilots website, so it's taking forever to get here. But um, yeah, we found this awesome boom box for her. And then I can get my radio back, my CD player. Well, then she won't be able to play CDs. No, she's gonna have like three of these things in her room. What are we gonna do about that? Oh my goodness, she has a record player in there. She has my CD player in there. Um, she has like a first edition iPod that um, I think I found at like a church sale and Aaron unlocked it for her. And then now she, she'll have this. So, oh, you have some? If, do you have any like, good ones she can listen to? I was gonna get like just a junky one if it was cheap enough just to see if it played. And it actually has record. You you guys remember that? Like waiting by the stereo for your song to come on and then pressing the play and record button at the same time so that you could record the song from the radio. I remember that. All right, guys. So that is everything. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to go over and check out Vintage and Vino, they are going to have a live sale, right? A live sale at nine o'clock. Nine, wait, nine o'clock Eastern. Eastern. So six Pacific. So they're pretty cool. Make sure you guys go over and tune in for that. And if you guys are interested in anything, you guys can shoot me. Um, did I say that right? I did. Six p.m. Pacific. Um, shoot me an email. Even if you're in the, uh, you watch the haul, not haul videos, the shop with me videos. You guys can even email me from those. That's fine too. If we can't work something out, like no hard feelings, really, like no hard feelings. So make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below of any of those items you would like to see in a sale because they're all up for grabs. And I will talk to you guys again really soon. Bye.